Good morning, Lions. Welcome back. Today is Monday, April 8th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. Let's go to this week's riddle with Miss Sangita. Hey Levi, it's Miss Sangita in the front office with your riddle of the week. Ready? I am four times as old as my daughter. In 20 years time, I shall be twice as old as her. How old are we now? Stay tuned to the end to find out. Thank you, Miss Sangita. Let's get into the news. It looks like it's going to be sunny all week long. Make sure to drink loads of water. Wednesday is International Sibling Day. Go do an activity with your sibling or siblings. I hate my siblings. Why? They bully me all the time. Bully them back. No, you're right. You're right. I'm always right. Anyways, Friday is Grilled Cheese Day. Make yourself a good grilled cheese sandwich and treat yourself. This week before break, we did our Alliance example, the letter O. O stands for open-minded. Let's, let's go to our Alliance lottery to see which one of our Alliance won. Congratulations to Keegan Silvers of Mr. Williams' class. See Mr. Ware in the front office for your hoodie. Congratulations, Lion, for being the example of open-mindedness. This week is navigation. Navigation is how you get from where you are to where you want to be. Let's go to Leo Lion and see what you guys said about navigation. All right, I'm Leo Lion. We're back again. Today we're talking about navigation. Let's go. So about navigation, what are some ways that have helped you navigate through your high school career when you were some support role, some people supported you, just stuff like that? What, what's helped you navigate? The tools that I use? Asking for help. That's, that's the number one. If you don't know something, you ask a person who has the information that you need and that will help you get on the right track and stay on the right track. What are some ways that have helped you navigate throughout your life, whether it be going through high school, college, or life, becoming a principal, anything like that. I think definitely always having goals for yourself. Make sure that you set a few goals and try your best to accomplish those goals. Um, try to stay disciplined and really um, work towards things that you're passionate about. If you have goals that you enjoy, they're easy to accomplish. The ways that help me navigate through my life? Yeah. My phone. Ways that help me navigate my life? Okay, so just being open-minded, right? Um, not kind of putting a wall or barrier up where, um, you know, you kind of limit your opportunities. You don't want to close your doors, right? If you're like, for example, if you want to go eat, right? First, I didn't like eating sushi at first. After time, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a try. Man, it's my favorite food now. I'll eat it anytime. What has helped you navigate throughout your life? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, just my friends, having good friends and my, my parents, they've taught me right, they raised me right. How have you navigated throughout your life? So to me, navigation is challenging for everyone if you're a human because there's always obstacles in life and there's always reasons that you have to overcome something and you have to pivot. So the main thing is to keep a positive attitude and to not give up and to just try and adjust and be flexible and keep going, just never give up. What are some ways that have helped you navigate throughout your life? I got put on the spot, I don't know. I forgot. You forgot? I forgot. Navigate through life? Yeah. I'm gonna say, my mom and Elder Ring. Elder Ring? Yes, Elder Ring. Is this, the, is this the most peak game ever? Peak. Peak? Peak. How do you navigate through life? Navigate through life, all right. So you see, I got my, my, my cool little youngin right here. On my lowest point, my youngin was here with me, you feel me? He was out here struggling with me, we came up. We changed that money on you feel me? And that's it for navigation this week. Thank you for listening and back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Leo Line. Do your best to show navigation. Next week we have support, so stay tuned. Now let's hear what Unity has for us this week. This week, Unity is celebrating two things, our CASP kickoff and the N Alliance for Navigation. Join us on lunch on Friday, April 12th for a fun obstacle course as you navigate your way to success. We will have lots of prizes for your participation. See you there. 
We are starting a door decorating contest for Earth Day, which is coming up quick. We are celebrating Earth Day this year on Monday, April 22nd. If your homeroom completes a door, they will be in the running for a pizza party. Mr. Bates and Unity students will be doing the judging. We are looking for doors that are centered around this year's theme, plants versus plastic. Please let Mrs. Robinson know if you are planning to participate and she will send you the grading rubric. Thank you so much for listening, Lions. Back to you. Thank you, Uni. Now let's go to GSA for their announcement. We will be having our April GSA meeting on April 11th during lunch. We are taking the yearbook photo that day and we would like you to wear a certain color. Please see Ms. Robinson in D102 to get your color as soon as possible. Thank you, GSA. If you don't know, we have an Instagram. Scan this QR code. It should take you to the Pollard Productions. This is where we will be showing behind the scenes, teasers, and post pictures of our progress for Levy TV and our podcast, Unheard Voices. Speaking of Unheard Voices, our new episode drops today. You can find it on Spotify and on the Pollard website. Make sure to check it out. The yearbook deadline is almost there. Deadline is April 15th. Order your yearbook soon before it's too late, especially you seniors. Also, remember grad night is almost here and tickets are selling out. Tickets are now $150 and the deadline is April 19th. Buy your tickets before they sell out. Now, let's go to Ms. Sanguina for the answer to that riddle. And we're back with the riddle of the week. Just a reminder, the riddle is, I am four times as old as my daughter. In 20 years time, I shall be twice as old as her. How old are we now? The answer is, I am 40 and my daughter is 10. See you all next week with a new Riddle of the Week. Take care, Levy. Thank you, Miss Angita. That's it for this week's. I know you have been missing the Would You Rather segment. Hopefully next week we can fit it back in. If not, we'll bring it back for the announcement for the April 22nd. And remember, Lions, every, every day is a great day at Pollard High. High.